want to have a real celebration of the life of Cyril Mann and it's so wonderful to have John Russell Taylor who's going the Times art critic who's going to give us a few words about the importance of Cyril's work. I wrote what is up to now the only book about Cyril Mann. Well, when I was first introduced to his work, uh, I was fascinated by it immediately because at that time it wasn't well known. Even today it's not sufficiently well known. But um, in those days he had uh, very little public reputation and uh, I came to it totally fresh in the way of walking into a gallery and saying, what is that? Who is that guy? That's wonderful. Who, who painted it? Why don't I know all about him? He was a, an extremely individual artist. He doesn't fit neatly into any category. He worked in the artistic terms all by himself, uh, developing his own style, moving from phase to phase with a sort of inexorable logic, though constantly surprising, which is what all great artists do, I think. And the great thing about this club being here is that the time that he was living in this building was clearly the happiest time of his life, and in many ways the most fruitful. I mean, he was always fairly prolific in his work, but the work that he did while he was living here is, I think, absolutely his best. It's totally wonderful. And also, perhaps for the first time in his work, it's truly happy. And there's one reason for that, and that is that shortly after he moved in here, he encountered Renske, his second wife. And you have only to look at the wonderful, exquisite nudes of her that he did at the time, and the other paintings that he made in Bevan Court. There are a lot, for example, of, of all things, flower pieces, which are painted in an absolutely wonderful, brilliantly coloured way, and so light, because well, the one thing about the style that he had developed at this time is, is it becomes almost feathery, fluttery, the way the paint is put on. And so I think, you know, the combination of Cyril and Bevin Court was, was totally happy and so on. And so I'm delighted and, and honoured to be asked to unveil this plan. Somehow I saw something in him and I saw something in his art which I still see to this day and I hope one day that the world will join me and see it too. You can't imagine what this place was like 50 years ago when we lived here. There were no trees, the entrance was open, the, you know, so you just went in from the front to the back and, and vice versa. Uh, it was very, very rough and I imagine that Sewell was about the only person living there. There's a, 100% council owned, um, and so was probably the only person living there who appreciated just how beautiful this building was, because he used to come and drag me and just made me look up, he said, look at this staircase, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. And it was well before his time, as he could see most things. Again, thank you for coming here, I'm most honored, and I'm, I can't tell you how thrilled I am about the plug and it's a highlight of my life and I'm sure it will be so as well. Thank you. Three, two, one.